Uh, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gladwell Kozak. If you're new here, please do uh, consider subscribing so that you do not miss any new videos when I put them through. And uh, if you're a returning viewer, I do thank you for stopping by again. On today's video, as you can see, I am going to show you how I do clean my toilet. I did a uh, renovation for my bathroom and toilet and uh, this is one of the projects that have really turned out really well and uh, that's why I want to show you how I clean my toilet especially now that I have a toilet seat which I can actually dismantle and be able to clean it individually uh, separate from the toilet cubicle. I will also be um, really emphasizing the importance of using uh, eco-friendly uh, cleaning products so uh, with my toilet i usually just use uh, soda uh, bicarbonate and soap and warm water i am trying as much as possible to avoid chemicals which usually go to our waterways and they end up destroying um, our environment so um, i hope you're going to enjoy this one Uh, during the renovation we actually tiled uh, the bottom part uh, part of the wall and that is making uh, cleaning and keeping the bathroom and the toilet uh, quite easy and in that way it means painting doesn't have to be every other year because at the end of the day uh, when the tiles is halfway through it means it's just wiping and Keep, keeping it clean and neat and uh, maybe once every two years you can change or repaint the walls. Uh, as you can see, uh, the toilet seat is uh, already separated from the WC and before I clean it, I usually apply uh, soda bicarbonate and I leave it for about 15 minutes. 15 minutes and then after is when I usually do the cleaning with uh, soap and water and then um, I can be able to attach it back to the toilet. So like us, if you're thinking about uh, doing a toilet or WC renovation, uh, you can think about uh, having a toilet like ours, which has a detachable seat and that makes cleaning and uh, the hygiene uh, actually far much easier and simpler.
with the upper part of the toilet and walls are clean now it's time to um, mop the floor and uh, this one I just do with regular soap and water and uh, after that dry it out and uh, it's ready to face another couple of days before I can actually redo um, with the toilet it's important to remember that as a family because ours is only uh, a single toilet for the whole household uh, it's important to always keep on top of things and ensure that you keep the toilet uh, as clean as possible by daily cleaning and having a deep clean uh, once a week at least Uh, back now to the toilet seat which is a detachable one uh, after it has soaked uh, with the soda bicarbonate now it's time to actually give it a good clean rub it um, with a, a good rug which I usually use it it's important to remember uh, to separate and use different rugs for different parts of the the toilet so usually I use a red rug for cleaning my bathroom and I use a purple one as you can see for cleaning the toilet that way there is that distinction so that you do not uh, mix up or transfer especially bacteria. and remember even though I am using uh, the bathroom uh, tub to clean the toilet seat I will eventually have to give the bathtub a good quick uh, uh, a good clean uh, before it can be used uh, to have a bath Uh, guys as you can see the toilet is now uh, nice uh, clean and fresh and ready to be used uh, once again and uh, you do not have to go out there and look for very hard uh, chemicals you can use very simple uh, home uh, products which you use every day and you can always get the best results uh, that you are looking out there and uh, another thing is also 
thinking about the future and the environment and our children uh, it's always a good way to think of ways to switch so that you can use uh, envi environmentally friendly uh, products uh, which at the end of the day when you think about it we are saving the planet for the future generations so if you've enjoyed this video please do remember to subscribe uh, leave a comment a like uh, tell me what uh, you think uh, about the ideas that I am suggesting here and uh, I do hope to see you in the next one uh, and thank you very much for watching